Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, in this video, we're going to take a look at a piece of software called Audio Movers Omnibus. Now, this is a, an application that allows you to route audio between one software application and the other um, on Mac OS, and it's actually very useful for a number of reasons, which we will discuss soon. Let's get straight in. Right, okay, so we're just gonna have a look at the software um, and just a couple of use case scenarios. There's, I mean, you can use it for a thousand different things, but I'm just gonna show you how I'm using it at the moment. Now, the main, the main use I've got right this very second is that I'm using it to route audio into OBS, which we will have a look at. So I used to use a piece of software called ScreenFlow a few years ago on Mac, um, and Apple changed something in the way that their, their audio was handled in software and it meant that ScreenFlow could no longer pick up audio from DAW without um, quite annoying virtual uh, driver, audio drivers. Um, and the one that I was using uh, ended up causing quite a lot of latency, so I had to stop using ScreenFlow. Anyway, uh, waffling on. So this is the Omnibus user interface. Uh, it looks more complicated than it actually is. All these channels are repeated. It works a little bit like a mixing desk. But you've got inputs and destinations and you can see that we've got omnibus a and omnibus b output and input and it effectively gives you two different audio buses to work with or virtual audio buses and we'll have a look at how that works in a second now i'm going to give you a couple of examples of how i'm using it and i'm going to have to switch between software applications and it it's, it's going to look a little bit fiddly just because of the way i have to um, switch between things to show you but once it's all up and running it's it's kind of seamless in the background you wouldn't be doing what i'm going to show you now so we've got these uh, 16 16 audio channels per bus and it allows you to route your audio to various different destinations so at the moment this is just the default screen everything's blank because nothing's routed anywhere um, i do have if i come down to obs <clears throat> You can see that I've got Omnibus A and Omnibus B routed into OBS already. Okay, uh, it's not an instructional video showing you how to do that, but it, it, the point I'm trying to make is that you can you can route two discrete stereo audio channels into OBS, which is quite difficult to do, especially from something like Ableton Live. Uh, usually, usually that's the right pain in the bum hole to do. So if we come up to um, my MacBook audio settings. You can see at the moment I've got set. I've got things set to come out of the uh, speakers. All right. So I've got QuickTime Player. I've got an audio file. It was the ambient track I did for the How to Make Ambient. Uh, if I play this, you'll only be able to hear it picked up slightly on the microphone. Okay. So that's playing <clears throat> through my MacBook speakers. Excuse the cough. I've had COVID as well. Brutal. So you can probably hear that a little bit on the microphone. If I come up to OBS, this shouldn't be playing if I've got everything right. Yeah, so you, that's, that's not being picked up. That audio isn't being picked up by OBS. But I want, what I want to do is I want to route this audio through Omnibus B, which is the B bus. So to do that, I'll come up to my audio settings, select Omnibus B, <clears throat> and now when I play this, you can actually see it being picked up by OBS, but you can't hear it anymore, at least not through the speakers. You can probably hear this through OBS and the recording, but what I need to do is if I want to hear it through the speakers as well, I'll come into the application. Let's just play it so we can see it, see what's going on. Okay, so you can see it running through Omnibus B there. That's the audio file I'm playing. And then I come across here and I select both these tabs and it's coming through the speakers again. Okay, let me switch that off. So right now we've got um, audio being routed into OBS via Omnibus. We could kind of do that anyway. OBS was always okay at picking up desktop audio for the most part, but where things were difficult after Apple made the changes to the software was 
uh, picking up audio from Ableton Live. So if I open up Ableton Live now, I've got a simple drum loop um, being played here. And again, if I press play, you can't hear anything, at least not through the speakers. Now, technically speaking, that should come through OBS. Yeah. So you can hear that coming through OBS because if we come into Ableton Live Preferences, you can see that I've got the input and output devices as Omnibus B and Omnibus A. You can choose any one, but I'll show you why I've got Omnibus B selected as an input anyway in a minute. So my audio output device is Omnibus A. So again, audio from Ableton Live is going through Omnibus um, Bus A. So if I just turn this all the way down so you can hear me talking as well. As I play, you can actually see the audio being fed onto OBS. And that was always a bit of a pain in the bum to do, as I said. So that's another use case for Omnibus. Now something else we can do, um, so let's say, for example, you want to, oh, by the way, if you wanted to actually hear that physically through the speakers, I know you can probably hear it through the recording, but we just go into the routing here and set that up again, like before. So if I press play on Ableton Live again now, I can now hear that coming through the speakers. Um, again, you can probably, you might even be able to hear it doubled up through the mic. Um, uh, this is the first time I'm recording it, so I'm not sure how it works with the recording, but um, I'm just trying to show you the workflow I'm using with Omnibus, uh, this very, very useful piece of software that I will be keeping. So uh, one last thing I wanna show you is that, let's say for example, you have a video on YouTube far too talented that boy um, okay so there's a video um, let's say for example there's some audio on YouTube that you wanted to record that can also be quite difficult sometimes so what we do is again looking at Ableton live preferences it would help if I choose Ableton live first so I've got my audio input device as omnibus B now remember our system audio is set to Omnibus B. So what we are effectively telling Ableton Live to do is listen to the desktop audio coming through Omnibus B. So if I'm playing this video, so like I said, I have to keep switching between tabs. Let me just turn it down slightly. So yeah, so if I'm playing this video and looking at Omnibus, I can actually see it being routed through on the bus B. Now I'm going to switch the speakers off so that I can't physically hear it through the speakers, but Ableton Live and Omnibus should still be able to see it. So let's leave that running in the background. Then we come into Live, open up an audio channel, and we'll set the input external in, stereo. There you go. So that audio from YouTube is now being piped into Ableton Live. So you could record that if you like. Let me just switch off the original drum loop. All right, okay. so a couple of the standout sounds. Obviously, this guy. Let's just go back to some audio, uh, some music. Yeah, so we, we can record that. Obviously, this is a low volume because I'm running it at low volume at the moment. But something else you can do, which is maybe maybe a little bit more useful, and this is quite difficult to do, if, you know, if you want to analyze some YouTube music without necessarily recording it, what we can do is, um, let's just stop this. Get rid of the recorded audio, we don't need that. Uh, I can use something like Spectrum. Maximize this, and you can use any analyzer. You can use Metric AB or Ozone, whatever it is that you use. But if I now start this audio again from Safari, 
you can analyze it. So we're, we're rooting this uh, YouTube video into Ableton Live via Omnibus, okay? Uh, and that's really just illustrating the power of this piece of software. It just allows you to move this audio anywhere. Now, I don't have a, an audio interface plugged into my MacBook at the moment because I don't need one. It's more of a mobile device. But if you do, um, when you come into Omnibus, it's going to show up as input and output devices. So you could record or you could route uh, specific audio channels to outputs of your uh, audio interface, do whatever you like, really. Um, and the, uh, there's obviously a lot of cases for resampling with this as well. So that's just a quick look at Omnibus by Audio Movers. I highly recommend this piece of software. It's something that I'll be keeping and using a lot in the future. Uh, although I do record most of my videos on PC now, if I ever need to do anything on Mac, this is the solution for the OBS use case that I've uh, shown here. So I hope you found this video useful and I'll see you guys again soon. Cheers. Thanks everyone for watching, we really appreciate all the support from you guys. If you love this video then smash a like and if you want to be notified about new videos hit the subscribe and notification buttons.